So welcome students. Today we are going to discuss uh, some exercise problems from Berkeley's book on uh, real analysis. Uh, we are going to start with the uh, section 3.1 and we will try to discuss all the questions. Let us see how much we can discuss today. I have already copied the question here uh, on the board. So you can see the question. A few questions we have already seen. I guess uh, if you see, let me show you the question. All question of 3.1. So the question I start with first question. The sequence Xn is defined by the following formula here. If you see uh, this, this. OK, so this already I have told you need to just put uh, the value of N and then you can uh, find uh, the first five terms what they are requiring, OK? So in the second question, if you see that uh, they are writing that uh, uh, they, they, are, they have written some uh, some a few terms, in some cases four or five terms they have written. So they want uh, nth term, OK? They want nth term here in their natural pattern. So this you can do. Uh, I think we have discussed this early, already in the class. In question number three, uh, list the five first five uh, terms of the following inductively defined uh, sequences. So what do you need to do here? Uh, X1 is given. X1 is given here and uh, here X1 plus one Xn plus one formula is given. So you need to put here N equals to two and then uh, you will get X equals to two uh, X2 equals to three X1 plus one. So X1 is one, so you can compute uh, all uh, all the terms. So they are demanding five, first five terms, so you can easily compute them. OK, so then we have question number four. Question number four, uh, it says that for any real number B. For any real number B, we need to prove that uh, B limit B upon N equals uh, zero. OK. So uh, let us see them one by one. So here is the question. So uh, to it means that we need to prove that uh, this sequence that is sequence B upon N. Uh, I hope it is visible to you. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK. So we have been given uh, the sequence like uh, B upon N. Let me increase this a little bit the size. So this is much better, I guess. No? This is much bold. So B is any real number here. B is any real number. So we need to talk about the limit of this sequence B upon N. OK, so for this, uh, you know, to so that uh, sequence converges to some uh, limit, we need to prove that for given epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number, something like this. OK, so for given. Uh, for given epsilon greater than zero. For given epsilon greater than zero, we need to find uh, n naught uh, depending on epsilon. OK, depending on epsilon such that. Uh, B upon n minus uh, because uh, this uh, uh, limit is shown to be zero, so we need to put here this. So here epsilon is there. OK, for all n is greater than or equals to n naught epsilon like this. OK, and this holds, you know, uh, if you want to make this possible and because B and n B is some uh, real number, of course, this may be positive or negative. So this we can write like uh, B upon n. And because n is natural number is always positive. So this should be less than epsilon. For all uh, natural number n is greater than or equals to n naught. And this n naught we can very easily find. No? This n naught we can easily find. How we can find them? How can we can find it? We can find it with the help of this. OK. Uh, so if b is 0, then nothing to prove here in this case. OK. If uh, B is zero. If B equals to zero, then obviously 
obviously uh, v upon n is equals to zero for all n. So this implies that uh, limit of uh, v upon n equals to zero. This is of course because all terms is going to be uh, zero. So if uh, v is non-zero, it, it means v may be positive or negative, but not zero. So in this case, from here, we can derive that uh, uh, b upon, uh, let us divide it by epsilon. So this uh, n should be greater than this, this term. Okay. So this implies that uh, for a limit, uh, limit b upon n equals to zero, uh, if, uh, not if, but uh, uh, just a minute. So how we can write uh, b upon n uh, minus zero is less than epsilon for n is greater than or equals to, or strictly greater than we can write, strictly greater than we can write, uh, n is greater than b, mod absolute value of b upon epsilon. Okay, so I think you got the solution. Is it okay or any confusion? Hello. Hello. So please repeat the B is not equal to zero part. Okay, in, in case uh, if B is zero, then all term of this sequence is going to be zero. In case if B is not zero, then uh, to hold this, this must hold. No? And this holds only when this uh, when we transfer uh, this n this here here this side and epsilon this side so we will be getting uh, this one all right so this uh, b upon n minus uh, 0 is less than epsilon for all n is greater than absolute value of b upon epsilon all right or you need more elaboration Hello. Okay. I don't know if you are uh, able to hear me properly. Okay. So to show that uh, this B n, B upon n converges to zero, we need to find this n naught, no? So first case, case one, if, uh, b equals to 0, then b upon n equals to 0 for all n. And this implies that uh, the sequence b upon n, this, this has all terms in it is 0. All, all terms in it are 0. So this converges to 0. And this implies that limit of b upon n equals to 0. The case 2 case 2, if uh, b is not equals to 0, then b may be positive or b may be negative. All right. So in that case, uh, to show this one, so the, to show this one, b upon n minus 0 less than epsilon, this implies uh, this holds, this implies that b mod absolute value of b is less than epsilon and this holds holds for when it holds n is greater than absolute value of b upon epsilon okay so it means this holds when this holds all right so if you take n is greater than absolute value of b upon epsilon then this will be less than epsilon this means limit of by its defini uh, definition of limit, this equals to zero. I hope it is clear to you now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, just a moment. I told you people, please join on time. Okay, so let us see next question. The next question is that uh, use the definition of limit uh, of a sequence to establish the following. 
So not every question, but I am going to discuss a few question from it. OK, uh, so let us see. Let us see the first one. OK, let us see the first one. So for part A, we need to prove the limit n upon n square plus one is zero. OK, you already know the limit. You know how to calculate the limit, but here we need to show that the limit is zero. OK, to show this. Uh, what we. Uh, here uh, we see that n the sequence n square plus one. OK, so this is always positive, you know. This is always positive, OK, and this is less than uh, n. We are keeping the numerator same. And we are uh, we are we, we can decrease this term, OK? And uh, we can decrease this term. That is, uh, let us remove one. So this is less than one upon n square. So this is less than one upon n, OK? Fine. So this implies that uh, now we need to find to so that uh, n square n upon n square plus one, uh, this minus zero minus zero and this equals to. Uh, uh, of course, this equals to n upon n square plus one, OK, because it is positive. All right, and this is less than one upon n just we have seen here. All right, so this is less than epsilon. For n is greater than one upon epsilon. All right. For n is greater than one upon epsilon. So this implies that one up n upon n square plus one minus zero is less than epsilon when n is greater than one upon epsilon. And this implies that limit of one upon n square plus one equals to zero by definition of limits. OK, fine. OK, shall we move ahead? Yes, sir. OK, yes. okay. please yes, respond. If yes, you are, last uh, line. Sorry. Last line you written one by one n square plus one. Uh, this is a uh, n is n upon n square plus one. OK, so this is a uh, limit of this is equals to zero. So I think other questions you can do easily. No? Or we can. Uh, Maybe let, uh, let 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 us try the third part, C part. No, one more part. Let us see. Three n plus one. The part is part C is. Uh, we need to prove that uh, this sequence three n plus one by two n plus five. Okay, this converges. This sequence is uh, converging to three by two. Fine. So we use the usual definition here. 3 n plus 1 because in the question itself they are saying that uh, use the definition. We need to use the definition. We need to use the definition of limit. Two n plus five minus three by two. This equals to six n plus one. Six n just we are cross multiplying and computing six n uh, six n plus two. OK, six n plus two minus uh, then six n plus uh, not. OK, six n again six uh, n plus 15. 15 and divided by uh, two times two n plus five. So this six n is uh, positive. This is this is po negative. This is positive, so it becomes zero together. So we have a uh, two minus fifteen. That is a uh, minus thirteen, minus thirteen, and divided by two times two n plus five. I guess it is okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, okay. So. What we need to we need to prove that this is less than epsilon for some n is greater uh, greater than n naught. Now, 
So this equals to 13 and uh, we can write here 2, 2 n plus 5. 5. 2, 2 n plus 5. The similar way and this is less than. Uh, let us remove this. Uh, uh, or you, you can write less than epsilon, then you can compute this. Uh, uh, n is less than uh, n is greater than some number. OK, if you want to put here this less than epsilon when it is less than epsilon. So you can uh, OK, you, you need to just write here less than epsilon. OK, we need to prove this should be less than epsilon. When is this is going to be less than epsilon? This is a matter of simple 13. OK, 13 uh, divided by epsilon is uh, this two epsilon. OK. Uh, so this is 2n plus 5. When ever this holds, OK, that is that is when. Uh, now we can compute 13 minus 2 epsilon minus 5. Uh, this would be less than 2 times n. That is when. That is when uh, uh, you can write this uh, 13 minus 10 epsilon, 13 minus 10 epsilon, 13 minus 10 epsilon, uh, and then divided by 2 times 2 into 4. This this would be 4. No? This this is 4. So whenever n is greater than this quantity, this quantity, so this uh, this quantity is going to be less than 3 uh, epsilon. Okay. So this means that uh, 3n plus 1 divided by 2n to n plus 5 minus 3 by 2 is the less than epsilon when ever when ever uh, n is less greater than uh, 13 minus 10 epsilon divided by 4 epsilon. Okay. Even you can uh, remove this 5, then you can write a simple expression 13 by 4 n. That will be also easy. OK, in that case you will be getting uh, not this part. You won't be getting this part now. If you are removing 5 from here. OK, so n should be greater than 13 by 13 by 4 epsilon. OK, of course this is a less than. Uh, this will be greater than the what we have written here. Fine. So this means that uh, 3 this sequence 3 n plus 1 divided by 2 n plus 5 is uh, converging. This sequence is converging to 3 by 2. I hope other question you can do similarly. OK. You need to just subtract this uh, this limit and then uh, use inequality. Triangle inequality or something. OK. So here we have another uh, another uh, question. Question number six. A similar question what we have uh, uh, we have seen in question number five. So let me let me attempt the first question and rest all will be the same similar way in a similar way. So we have here sequence uh, one upon square root of n plus seven. This is the sequence and we need to prove that this converges to zero. So uh, for this, uh, we know that the square root of n plus 7 is uh, always greater than is always. Uh, uh, always greater than. Uh, square root of n. OK, because this a 7 is positive, we have added there. So this implies that uh, 1 upon square root of uh, n plus 7 is less than 1 upon square root of n. Fine. OK, so this implies now we need to prove that 0 is the limit of this sequence. So uh, square 1 upon square root of n plus 7 minus 0 uh, equals to square root of 1 upon square root of n plus 7. And this is less than 1 upon square root of n. Even you can use this also. You can directly write here 7 in here epsilon. Here epsilon you can write and then you can compute. No problem, but just we are writing to make the expression simple. Fine. 
So this is less than epsilon when square root of n is greater than 1 upon epsilon. Fine. That is n is greater than 1 upon epsilon square. Okay. So when, when we, are, uh, we have epsilon here, we can compute this quantity and any integer natural number which is greater than this one uh, is going to satisfy this uh, implication. So this implies that uh, 1 upon square root of n plus 7 minus 0 is less than epsilon when your n is greater than 1 upon epsilon square and this proves that limit of 1 square root of n plus 7 uh, equals to 0. Fine. Hello. Yes, sir. OK, so in a similar way, we, we can do other questions also. OK. Uh, one more thing, if you don't want to remove this 7, you can directly compute. OK, so let me show you how you can do this. Is there any question? Okay. Let me explain it only. So let us see if you don't want to remove this 7. In that case, uh, what uh, we can write is n plus 7 minus 0 and this is going to be square root of n plus 7 and this is going to be less than epsilon when this is going to be less than epsilon when uh, square root of n plus 7 is greater than 1 upon epsilon that is when that is when n plus 7 just to square both sides square both sides so we are going to have this that is when n is greater than 1 upon epsilon square minus 7 that's all so here uh, we are getting this quantity greater than this one here we are get going to get 1 minus epsilon square minus 7 this is the difference only fine So, okay, so we can move ahead. Hello. Yes, sir. <coughs> sir. Sir, we can do in both ways. Yeah, both ways. Both ways. Either this way or that way. This way. Okay. Yes, sir. Both are correct. That's why I explained you need not to do mugging up. Uh, you just understand the concept. Yeah, sometimes we need this kind of thing. Uh, actually, this kind of, uh, this is what we are approximating. So this uh, makes life easy. Life easy means the calculation easy. And because you know, here we are going, getting a simple expression on upon epsilon square. Here we are go going to get one upon epsilon square minus seven. Okay. Fine. So, so let us see. N ki value yes. find karni hoti hai. Haan, N ki value find karni hoti. Next question is that. In that way. So let us see next question. Na? Hello. So let okay. us see next question. Yes. If you have been given epsilon, then we need to find here. You see in this question here, if you have been given epsilon, epsilon, then we need to find k epsilon. That is uh, our n naught, what I used to write now. So in this question, it will be clear. And OK. So let us see. Okay. This sequence we have been given. This is a natural log 1 upon log n plus 1 for n belongs to natural number. Use the definition of limit to show limit of xn equals to 0. Let me see if someone is waiting. In answer is waiting. OK, so we need to prove that uh, use the definition of limits. We need to prove that the limit of Xn this sequence is equals to zero. Fine. So solution. We have been given this sequence Xn. Uh, Xn is one upon natural log N plus one. OK, so we need to prove that this is zero. So to prove this, we need to consider 
uh, one upon uh, log n plus one minus zero. Fine. So this we need to prove that this is less than epsilon. Fine. This is less than epsilon. This is less than epsilon. So this holds if and only if one upon log n plus epsilon is less than uh, one upon log uh, log n plus one less than epsilon. And this holds, you know, if and only if when this holds. Let us uh, transfer this to another side. This is greater than one upon epsilon. Fine. And this holds if and only if. Uh, it, here a natural log is there, so that side it will. Uh, it will convert to exponential function. Fine inverse of this, so we can write this is greater than. OK. Fine, and this holds if and only if n is greater than e to the power one upon epsilon and minus one. Okay, so this implies that one upon log n plus one, n plus one minus zero is less than epsilon when ever n is greater than e raised to power 1 upon epsilon minus 1. OK. So now next part. So we have proved from here. We have proved that uh, this sequence, the sequence xn converges to 0. The first part we have done. Second part, find a specific value of k epsilon because uh, in this book Bartley is using uh, usually k epsilon and if OK, so they are writing this, this, uh, this expression as k epsilon. OK, this expression k epsilon uh, as required in the definition of limit for each epsilon. So when epsilon is one by two, we need to compute this k value of k epsilon. And when is epsilon is one by 10, we need to compute the value of k epsilon. Fine. So B part. When epsilon equals to 1 by 2, n is greater than e raised to power. Epsilon is 1 by 2, you see. So e raised to power 2 minus 1, e square minus 1. And we need to compute the value of n. And e value of e is 3.14 something. No, between 2 and 3, you know already. Fine. So this is going to be 9 minus 1, 8 something uh, e square minus 1. Uh, this is roughly around uh, 6.389. OK, because. Uh, OK, you can compute this one. OK, e square minus 1. e square minus 1, you can compute. You can compute this. Fine. So anything n is uh, this is a fraction fraction. So anything greater than n equals to n greater than or equals to seven. N greater than or equals to seven uh, will satisfy this expression. OK, when epsilon is one by two. Similarly, you can uh, compute uh, the value of this n. Uh, the value of this when epsilon is equals to epsilon equals to one upon ten. OK. Is it clear? Sir, e square ki value kaise uh, e so square is, allowed hongi na? Uh, e square, yeah, sorry, yeah, calculator allowed, calculator allowed. So you can compute e square. This is the value of e is between two to three. Na? Value of okay, e square sir. is, yeah, value of e square is two to three, between two to three. So you can uh, compute it easily. All right. Hello. Yes, yes sir. sir. OK, yes, sir. so cal calculators are allowed. Calculators are allowed. So I think this this kind of question you may get in the examination. 
Okay, next we have this question. I guess this question uh, we have done uh, in the class, this kind of question. Uh, here question is that if uh, this is uh, zero, if and only if this is zero. No. Uh, prove that uh, if and only if. I think there is something wrong in this question. Because if they are uh, proving if and only if, then then this part would do not may arise, na? So they are they are saying let me let us show that this uh, if uh, I'm writing only if I'm removing this part, no? Fine. Because counter example we have, let us see solution. Uh, let uh, let limit of x n equals to zero. Limit of x n equals to zero. Then we need to prove that mod. The same thing for mod modulus, no? Uh, okay. Let us see. Let us see. Uh, it. No. We know that. Uh, we know that. You know that uh, absolute value, I think, xn minus zero. No? And in fact, we can write like this also. This is equals to because uh, uh, this is equals to xn minus zero. xn minus zero. Prove that limit of xn equals to zero if and only if mod of xn is zero. Uh, please uh, mute yourself. So here, uh, mod of this is uh, less than this quantity, and this is convergent. This is less than epsilon because uh, uh, we, we can consider let uh, limit xn equals to 0. Then xn minus 0 is less than epsilon for some n greater than or equals to n not epsilon. Fine. So this old, this implies that uh, mod of xn is also converges to 0. That is limit of this is 0. The converse, they are telling that to show that the converse need not be need not imply the convergence of this. So we have example minus one to the power n. OK, this sequence. Does not converge. Does not converge. But uh, when we are considering minus one to the power n. Mod the absolute value absolute. of this. This is equals to always one is is convergent. Zimam. I told you people, please. Sorry, sir. Galti so ho gaya sir. Unmute.
so we got this uh, this uh, example okay that um, abs ma, uh, this absolute value if converging then it, it not uh, need not imply that uh, the virginal sequence is also convergent so next question question number 9 so we have sequence with all uh, all non negative terms here x is xn is greater than or equals to 0 for all n and this is given then we need to prove this i think we have done some questions uh, related with this but let us see so here uh, given that limit limit of uh, xn equals to 0 is a solution okay solution limit xn uh, is equals to 0 it has been given okay so this implies that xn minus uh, 0 is less than epsilon for all n is greater for some for some for n for some for some n natural number such that n is greater than or equals to n naught and even if the depends on epsilon fine but uh, xn is uh, non negative so we can write this whole part as xn less than epsilon when uh, n is greater than or equals to n not epsilon okay but in that case this holds if and only if x uh, x square root of this xn is less than square root of epsilon this what we know already uh, if you remember uh, uh, initial initial classes or initial classes now there we have discussed this inequality of trichotomy property and all no so there we have discussed this property this uh, okay okay and you also know this uh, this is uh, if this holds if this holds so xn square is less than epsilon square no. square root of xn is less than epsilon okay fine 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 theek hai so there, there were three things isko hata dete hain so this uh, this proves that square root of xn minus 0 is less than square root of epsilon you know, when you are n is greater than or equals to n epsilon like this so this proves that uh, square root of xn is also convergent so next question number 10 question number 10 is that if limit is uh, xn and x is uh, positive here limit positive eh? then there exists a natural number such that xn is positive for all n so agar kisi limit kisi sequence ka limit positive hai to ek term ke baad uske sare terms kya ho jate hain positive ho jate hain theek hai uh, this is the question so how we can prove uh, for this uh, let us take let us take a solution. Let us take epsilon. Epsilon equals to x by 2. And uh, of course, x is positive. This implies that epsilon is positive. This is always a requirement when we choose epsilon. No. Okay. So we need to find m. Okay. We need to find m. And also we know that this is uh, x is the limit of xn. So this implies that uh, xn minus x. So because this sequence xn converges to x, so this should also, this quantity should also be less than epsilon. Okay. Even for this choice, choice of this epsilon. Okay. And this holds. Uh, this old 
this holds for n greater than or equals to m and this m is dependent on epsilon this m is dependent on epsilon this m dependent on epsilon okay and this implies that xn minus x less than for some m epsilon because x is convergent so we we always can find this m epsilon na? so this uh, this should hold for this epsilon equals to x by 2 this should also hold for this okay so this implies that uh, xn minus x is less than is less than uh, uh, x by 2 is less than minus x by 2 and this implies that uh, we can uh, okay let us let us add x on both sides now so x minus x by 2 xn in this left side we are adding this implies that here x by 2 is greater than xn for all n greater than or equals to m epsilon fine so after this because x is non uh, the x is positive so x by 2 is also positive so this these all xn uh, are positive for all n greater than or equals to m epsilon fine next question uh, this is also a simple question no? uh, you can uh, you can start with uh, with this one upon n minus one upon n plus one this is you can simplify it n plus one minus n divided by n times n plus one so this will go away so we have n n plus one okay oh you you see here uh, you will be getting a square here so if you write directly epsilon less than epsilon so it will be difficult to compute n square a uh, value of n with the help of this because this may not be completely factorized so let us uh, make them smaller so that one upon epsilon one upon n n plus one uh, becomes less than this one so we, we can write very easily like this n and uh, even n is square no? even n is square you can write fine you are just uh, removing this plus one so making denominator is uh, small so so that uh, this one upon n is this quantity is going to be greater than less than n into n plus one so this is going to be greater than this quantity so this is less than epsilon if when n is square is greater than one upon epsilon that is n is greater than one upon square root of epsilon that's what uh, here you can write zero also this implies that to limit one upon n minus n plus one uh, this is equals to zero. All right. Question number uh, 13. Question number 13. Uh, we need to observe that. We need to observe that n is always less than 3 to the power n. This implies if this implies n implies by, uh, of course, the uh, uh, this uh, uh, 1 upon 3 to the power n is less than 1 upon n and this is always greater than 0. No, this is always greater than 0. So we can write 3 to the power n minus 0 equals to 1 upon n minus not minus but we can write it directly. Uh, this is equals to 3 to the power n and this is less than 1 upon n and this is less than epsilon when when uh, epsilon is uh, greater than 1 upon n or else let us see something else okay 
uh, or else we can write this is the one way this is the one way when we are using this or this no if you don't want to use this so you can write 3 minus 1 0 this is equals to 1 upon 3 to the power n this is less than epsilon when how we can write 1 upon uh, 3 to the power 3 to the power n is uh, greater than 1 upon epsilon and then you can uh, compute uh, uh, calculate n you can take log no you can take log and then uh, compute compute the value of n fine otherwise this this is okay this is okay fine uh, so uh, we do have uh, other question oh i didn't copy it uh, we have more questions let me show you so until 30 up to 13 we have done 12th we did okay 13 we did we 12th we didn't do you can try in a similar way what we have done no? this you can use binomial theorem example you can refer 3.1.1 for this question these all the two three question you can do with the help of here some hint is also there in this question fine uh, this uh, 3.1.11d uh, let me show you 3.1.11d i am referring to fourth edition 3.11d okay so here you see this question we have discussed already okay uh, this you can uh, try this is very easy using this question yeah. then we have c then we have d another part d this part limit one upon n to the power one upon n is equals to one so this is important this is very important and this is also solved here so i recommend you people please uh, uh, practice all these questions no. This example 3.1.11D. Okay. With the help of this, you can you can solve those problems also. These all these problems. Okay. Uh, let me let us see which we can uh, 16th question, maybe. Okay. Let us see. These two these two parts, 14 and 15, you can do with the help of 3.11D. Let us uh, start. Let us solve question number 16. So question number 16. Question number 16. Question number 16, OK. So we need to show that limit of this sequence is equals to 0. OK. N is per. So solution uh, for uh, for n is greater than three, what we observe what we observe that uh, uh, n is square by n factorial n is square by n factorial is less than n. Uh, you can also uh, you can also verify it. This is n factorial. N factorial, you know what is n, n minus one, n minus two, like this, nah? like this. So we can write uh, here n is uh, uh, this divided by uh, n minus one times n minus two. Uh, this n, this n. And here n square is there, so one n get cancelled. And later we are uh, also we are uh, reducing this denominator. Okay, we are reducing this denominator. Fine. Are you getting how, what I am trying to say? Here you will be having so many terms, na? So it will enhance the value of product, this product. So we are removing uh, some some terms to make the this product is smaller so that this quantity is bigger than the quantity in the left hand side fine and we can verify it that this is less than 1 upon n minus 3 this is less than 1 upon n minus 3 and we usually try to keep here a single uh, uh, 
single single term so that we can we can easily find the value of n okay it is not necessary you can keep two terms also if you want you can solve this n upon if you are writing like epsilon so you need to compute the value of n so that this is uh, uh, this quantity is less than epsilon now. otherwise you can write like this this quantity is less than this quantity and this is less than epsilon okay so that is what uh, we are doing here n factorial minus this so this is less than uh, uh, sorry this is equals to first let us write this is equals to n square by n factorial and this quantity is less than this quantity this is less than one upon n minus three and this is less than epsilon when uh, when uh, one upon epsilon is less than n minus 3 no. so n square by n factorial minus 0 is less than epsilon when ever when ever n is greater than 1 upon epsilon plus 3 this quantity okay so in this case this uh, limit this sequence converges to 0 fine other question let us see other questions uh, this is a similar way we can try here uh, you you you, are, you have been given something no you have been given here uh, this uh, just a minute here you have been given this hint there is a hint so you can easily put this less than epsilon okay then compute the value of n This is similar to what we have done. Uh, 18th question is very similar. Uh, very similar to question number 10. Na? So there, uh, this part we proved. This part, this first part we approved. Another side you can see two x is there. So let me show you uh, where uh, here we did. Na? Here we did. Here we did. So this is greater than one x by two if n is greater than x by two, and uh, you can add x here, x both side you are adding. So this uh, you will be getting here in this side. If you are adding, you will be getting uh, three by two times x now, and this is always less than two x now. So like this you can write. So with this. Uh, Almost all the questions of exercise 3.1 of Bartley we have discussed. So Thank you for watching this video. To stay updated, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Cosmos Learning. Happy learning through Cosmos Learning. To watch more, click on any of these cards. Thank you once again.